Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and we are continuing our playlist today on 2023's external exams in Queensland for general mathematics. And we're looking at paper one, short response questions on decision mathematics. And we've only got one question to cover today, so it's gonna be real quick. But before we get into it, I just wanna tell you about the ways that you can engage and connect with our channel. Firstly, you could like and subscribe to us and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is ready to view. Why not consider super like as well? You can find that as a little dot, dot, dot on YouTube where you can give back a dollar or two to help us with the cost of running the channel. There's also something you could consider doing is just tell someone. Why not tell us in the comments about how you found the video. You could share it on your class one note if you're a teacher or even forward the video to one of your friends if you're studying and you want to help them out too. You can also follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, let's get straight into our first question here. It is question 24 worth five marks. Jed is preparing and serving a meal of curry and rice with naan bread. The table shows the duration and prerequisites for all the tasks he must complete. So here we go here. We've got um, tasks A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, if we have a quick look at what's involved, they're going to assemble some equipment, boil some rice, prepare curry ingredients, make the naan bread, simmer the curry, fry the naan bread, bread and then serve the meal. We've got our duration, which is the length of time each activity takes, and our prerequisites. So what the task is asking us to do is to construct a network diagram to show the sequence of the tasks from start to finish with labelling all the tasks and durations and then we need to use forward and backward scanning to show the earliest and latest starting times for all the tasks. So there's actually quite a bit of work involved in these three marks. It's a bit laborious and technical, but not super difficult. Let's get straight into it. So if we just have a bit of an investigation here, we know our first task is going to be task A. It has no prerequisites. We can't pronounce that, prerequisites. And it's got three different activities coming out of it. So let's start with drawing one of these bubbles with the, um, the line through the centre. Your textbook might do a little bit differently. However, you've been taught is fine. Um, but just starting the activities here, and we've got A coming out of this particular starting point here, activity A, and we've got the duration being two minutes there. So we've got the A comma two, and that ends in another bubble right there. Now out of this bubble, we're gonna have three tasks coming out, B, C, and D, because they all come immediately after task A. So there's B coming out there, it lasts for 20 minutes. There's C coming out there, lasting for six minutes and D coming out there lasting for eight minutes. And all of these activities now are prerequisites for new activities. So after activity um, C, we're gonna have E. So coming out of here, we're gonna have E. Coming out of D, we're gonna have activity F. So let's draw those in. There's activity E, which lasts for 40 minutes, and activity F, which lasts for four minutes. Now these all end up in one place because this last step here needs all of these activities to finish before you can serve the meal. You wouldn't serve the meal until you've got everything done. So out of that very last step is our final activity and there is the finish bubble there. So we've drawn the, drawn the um, actual network diagram. We've done our labels from start to finish and our durations. Next step we have to do is forward and backward scan through the network. But we get our first mark here. Even if we haven't done the forward and the backward scanning, We've correctly constructed that network diagram. We've shown the appropriate sequence for all the tasks. So we get our first mark and our second mark because we've labeled all the tasks and durations on the diagram. So yay us, we're two out of five, let's keep going. So let's start over here. We always know that we start in the left-hand side of each of our bubbles and our very first time is at time zero. And we're gonna add zero to two and that will make two in this next bubble here. And if we go across the top here, two plus six will make eight. And then two plus eight makes 10 here. But we need to have a think about what's going to go into that bubble, okay? It'll be the biggest number out of all the choices. So eight plus 40 makes 48, two plus 20 makes 22, and 10 plus four makes 14. It's gotta be the biggest one because we've gotta wait till everything's done before we can start activity G. So that means that 48 from across the eight plus the 40 will go into here. Our final bubble will fill out with 48 plus two makes 50. So we can see that all the way across it's gonna take us 50 minutes to prepare this meal. Then in this last part of the bubble, we start at 50 and we're now gonna backward scan through the network that we've done the forward scanning, now it's backward scanning time. So going back 50, take away two gives us 48. 
So we'll come across here, 48 take away 40 gives us eight, and then 48 take away four gives us 44. But now we need to think about this bubble, what number is going to come in here? So we know that this is part of the critical path, and the critical path has the same numbers in here. So we actually don't really need to think too hard about this, it's got to be the number two. Okay, and we sort of worked out that across the top of our network was the critical path, eight take away six makes the two there. And then coming back here is zero. So if you know where your critical path is once you're forward scanning, you kind of get an idea about which activity has caused all the holdups. Then you know these final bubbles that when the two numbers in the bubbles are the same, that means it's your critical path. Okay, so we've done our last, our earliest and latest start times for all the tasks. We get our third mark for part A. Part B now asks us to determine the critical activities or the critical path and the minimum completion time to get the whole thing done, the whole meal, preparing and serving. So we already worked out where the critical path was, but we can double check that. It's wherever these two halves of the bubble are the same. So that's our critical path across there, but we do need to state that really clearly. Um, so we're gonna state that the critical path is A, C, E, G, and we get our fourth mark for determining the critical activities. And the next part is, what's the minimum completion time? Well, we can see that here. The earliest you can get this meal done is in 50 minutes. So the minimum completion time will be 50 minutes. Make sure you use your units of measurement there. Um, so that's our final mark. Notice here it included the units. So if you'd left that as just 50, you would not have got your final mark. Well, don't forget, um, if you did find this video helpful, that you can engage with us further in all those ways we suggested at the beginning of the video. And if you've got any questions at all, you can contact me at mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you for so much for watching today. My name is Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.